Welcome back to this joint Orca CBTSport.net presentation. Tom Corbett and Noah McLean heading in to the second quarter here. And a story in this one, turnovers for both teams, but especially Harwood. They have given away a lot of chances to try to give themselves some look and some points. And after a shaky first couple of minutes, the Raiders kind of settled down and started to get a lot of really good looks around the basket as Hawkins might have got away with a reach on that one. A little miscommunication in the post there for Harwood. Driving in, Ravelin goes in to the players. Nothing there. Solid defense from Flynn. <laughs> As we get a whistle and a bloody nose. Olivia Hogan. who stood in and kind of took that charge-esque play against <laughs> Ravelin. Fly now uses the screen from Garland. Back to Garland. Great little move. It's out to Price. She's going to launch one, and that's long. Richardson got a hand on it, but it's off her hand. And Ra Ravelin now running down the court, and she's fouled by Hawkins. Right now, if you're Harwood, you've got to try to find some flow to the offense outside of just raveling, trying to drive to the basket. Yeah, you know, and, and I think it's, it's, it's playing too fast right now. I think they need to slow things down and try and get some points on the board because they're not far down in terms of point deficit right now as they turn the ball over again. But again, you, you can only turn the ball over so many times before the Raiders will start to heat up and, and you know, make you pay for it. Over the uh, timeline goes the left wing. Garland kicks across. A little hesitation, but the three goes for Ariana Hawkins. Our first long ball of the day, and it is 12-4 Raiders. Nice cut, open look, and the six-footer goes for Tanum Nelson. And that's what I've been waiting for. Tanum Nelson is such a good player, and I think, you know, we watch her on the soccer field, but the basketball court, there's a full court pass. Oh, no. Richardson just having it roll off the rim there on the layup. And Harwood will regain possession, but Nelson, such a good player, both on the soccer field and the basketball court. And I think the Highlanders need to look to her to slow things down and take over control. As Fuller gets blocked, Raiders go the other way. Hawkins will pull up, that one's short. Rebound controlled by Parrish. One on two, doesn't really have the numbers, slows down, good decision there. And Harwood will set the offense. Semperbon goes over, left side, in and out, up and in, Kata and the basket. As Tatum Nelson getting some more looks here in the second quarter and they are good looks for Harwood. I think maybe another inadvertent shot to the face. This time for Ariana Hawkins of U32. A round of subs here. As they might have a little something maybe to clean up on the floor. We are going to step aside for a quick break. You are watching this joint Orca CVTSport.net presentation.